Welcome to the ACOL Education Channel. Today, we are discussing text to 3 d generation. text to 3 d generation is a fascinating application and research topic in AIC. There are various approaches to accomplishing this task. Today, we will introduce a framework that utilizes a multi-view image generation model based on a pre-trained text-to-image model. The multi-view image generation model employs a diffusion generative method, taking a single RGB image of an object as input and synthesizing images from specified camera viewpoints. Through such a diffusion model, one can construct a NIE-RF for the 3D reconstruction of the input image, establishing a single image to 3D generation pipeline. Leveraging a robust pre-trained text-to-image model further allows us to create a text-to-3D generation pipeline. The following provides an overview of the text-to-3D generation process. Dalmiddle.e2 is an AI system developed by OpenAI with the capability to generate realistic images and artwork based on natural language descriptions. Contrastive models, such as CLIP, have demonstrated the ability to learn robust representations of images that encompass both semantics and style. In order to harness these representations for image generation, Dalmiddle.e2 introduces a two-stage model, a prior that produces a clip image embedding from a given text caption, and a decoder that generates an image conditioned on the obtained image embedding. This model excels in synthesizing a variety of high-quality images, offering a versatile and impressive capability based on textual descriptions. This overview outlines the text-to-image framework employed by Dalmiddle.e2. The clip training process is depicted above the dotted line, illustrating its acquisition of a unified representation space for both text and images. Below the dotted line lies the text-to-image generation process. To generate an image from a text description, a clip text embedding serves as input to either an autoregressive or diffusion prior, generating an image embedding. Subsequently, this embedding conditions a diffusion decoder, culminating in the production of the final image. It's noteworthy that the clip model remains frozen during the training of both the prior and the decoder. Now, let's delve into the multi-view image generation model. Consider having an image of an object, can we generate novel views of that object? Introducing the framework 01 to 3, a generative model designed to alter the camera viewpoint of an object based solely on a single RGB image. 01 to 3 employs a view condition latent diffusion model enabling control over the viewpoint of an image featuring a novel object. Leveraging extensive diffusion models like Stable Diffusion proves essential for this task, as they exhibit remarkable zero-shot capabilities when generating diverse images from text descriptions. In mathematical terms, given an image X and the relative camera rotation R and translation T for the desired viewpoint, the model aims to learn a function F that synthesizes a new image under the specified camera rotation R and translation T. Given a dataset of paired images and their relative camera extrinsics, 0, 1 to 3 fine-tunes a pre-trained diffusion model in order to learn controls over the camera parameters without destroying the rest of the representation. Allow me to provide a brief introduction to the basic concept of the diffusion model. The diffusion probabilistic model is a parameterized Markov chain trained through variational inference to generate samples that align with the data after a finite period. The transitions in this chain are learned to reverse a diffusion process, which is a Markov chain gradually introducing noise to the data in the opposite direction of sampling until the signal is obliterated. In cases where the diffusion involves small increments of Gaussian noise, setting the sampling chain transitions to conditional Gaussians proves sufficient, enabling a notably straightforward neural network parameterization. In the training of diffusion models, it is common to employ a reverse process mean function approximator for predicting the additive noise. These models frequently leverage UNET architectures featuring ResNet blocks and self-attention layers to effectively represent the noise predictor. The use of such architectures enhances the model's capacity to capture complex dependencies and relationships within the data, contributing to the overall effectiveness of the diffusion process reversal. Returning to the challenge of multi-view synthesis, a latent diffusion architecture is composed of an encoder E, a denoiser unit epsilon, and a decoder D let CX, R, T, denote the embedding of the input view X and the relative camera transformation R and T. The 0 1 to 3 addresses this by formulating a new objective for fine-tuning the stable diffusion model. Specifically, Within the latent space defined by the encoder, the denoiser is trained to minimize the difference between the predicted error and the ground truth error at each time step t. Concerning the architecture, 
The denoiser takes not only the time embedding as input but also incorporates the embedding of the input view X and the relative camera transformation. This comprehensive input allows the denoiser to consider both temporal and spatial information, enhancing its ability to capture intricate patterns and relationships during the synthesis process. Here are a few demo examples showcasing the generation of images from multiple perspectives based on a single image. Each row represents one such demo. The first column displays a specific input view, while the subsequent columns show the corresponding novel views generated by the trained model. With an input view, we can fix another viewpoint and randomly generate multiple conditional samples. The different results reflect a range of diversity in terms of both geometry and appearance information that is missing in the input view. Through the integration of the text-to-image model and the 0-1-2 model, a comprehensive pipeline for text-to-multi-view synthesis can be established. The figure illustrates two examples of this synthesis process. An enhanced version of 0-1-3, named 1-2-3-45, incorporates a more advanced 3D reconstruction technique into the pipeline. Starting with a single image, 1-2-3-45 initially employs a view condition 2D diffusion model, 0-1-3, to generate multi-view images for the input perspective. Subsequently, it integrates a 3D reconstruction module based on an SDF-based generalizable neural surface reconstruction method. Additionally, several crucial training strategies are proposed to facilitate the reconstruction of 360-degree meshes. Notably, 12345 achieves 3D shape reconstruction in significantly less time compared to existing methods, all without the need for resource-intensive optimizations. The figure illustrates qualitative results of the image to 3D component. In the first row, input images are displayed, while the second and third rows showcase the corresponding 3D mesh and volumetric shapes, respectively. Utilizing an open-source framework called Score Jacobian Chaining, SJC, a 3D representation can be optimized incorporating priors from text-to-image diffusion models. The figure presented below showcases some of the results obtained from 3D reconstruction using this approach. The model can utilize DAL E2 to generate an image conditioned on the text and then lift it to 3D. Now, let's enjoy the final results. Thanks for your listening. See you next time.